All right, hello, what's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Alex from Special Olympics Ontario. Uh, welcome to day three of Special Olympic Ontario School Program's Bocce Bash Tournament. Today we'll be focusing on putting it all together. A little bit about me is that I really like to play bocce at local parks. I really like to go over to my friend's house and play it with their family. I love going to my cottage as well as the beach to play it. The great thing about bocce is that it can be played in any setting with any group of people. So it's a very versatile sport. Uh, also, before we begin, I just want to say a quick fun fact. Uh, the first known documentation of bocce was actually founded in 5200 BC with Egyptian tombs paintings that depicted two boys playing the sport. The game was spread throughout the Middle East and Asia, where it was adopted by uh, the Greeks and then passed on to the Romans. So that means that the sport of bocce is approximately 7,300 years old. That's crazy. Also, before we begin, I just want to note that any needed accessibility or accommodations and supports are highly welcomed. Uh, and for each warm-up exercise and team challenge throughout the week, Please only do what you can. We look forward to it and can't wait to see you and have some fun. All right, so before we get started, I'm going to uh, go through a few tips and tricks that will help you with today's challenge, which is putting it all together. So first, we want to try and spin the object at the very last second of your toss using your fingertips only. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is take your approach slow. So making sure that you are fully balanced with both feet underneath of you. Third tip is if you are playing on a team, don't forget to cheer on and support your other teammates. Fourth tip, have your front knee bent and back leg extended when tossing your object. Fifth tip, and finally, Always keep your eyes on where you want the object or ball to go. That is very, very important. All right, now let's warm up. Let's go. All right, everyone. So first we are going to start off with some in and out jumps. So first of all, we want to start with our heat together, feet together, standing up nice and straight and tall. When you hop, you want to extend your legs out to each side, opening the gap between them, hopping back again and bringing them together okay so it's in and out and in and out we're going to do this 12 times okay so let's do it together stand with your feet together and out and in 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 Good job. All right, great work so far, everyone. So next we are going to do some stationary high knees. So first, uh, stand with your feet hip width apart. We want you to lift your right knee to your chest and then bring it back down to the floor. If you need some support with, with balancing, uh, stand next to a chair or to a wall, and you can use this as a good support um, when raising your knees, okay? So after you've raised your first leg and put it down, switch to lifting your left knee to your chest and then repeat, okay? Just like this. You can raise your opposite arm. If you feel comfortable, you can go as fast or as slow as you need to, okay? This isn't a race. This is just to get warmed up. All right, so we are going to do this for about 30 seconds. Take a 15 second break and then do an additional 30 seconds. All right, so let's go in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Making sure those knees are nice and high. You can go as fast again or as slow as you need to. Try and raise the opposite arm with the opposite leg. So that's right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Making sure that you're standing nice and tall when you get to the bottom. You don't want to be doing this exercise off balance. All right, we're going to go for another five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good work. Let's take a 15 minute break. You can put your hands on your hips and breathe it out. We want to 
just lower our heart rate for a minute and we're gonna go back in in about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, back at it for 30. Make sure those knees are going as high as they can go. Feel free to use some support and raising no arms. Okay. Good work. Nice and high, nice and high. How high can you bring those knees to your chest? All right, we'll go for another three seconds. Three, two, one. Good job, good work everybody. All right, so next we will be standing nice and tall with our feet together and arms by our side. We will be focusing on the jumping jack squat. So to do the jumping jack squat, like I said, you need to be standing tall with feet together and arms by your side. We want to jump extending our arms and legs outwards and then landing with our feet spread apart and press uh, into the back of our heels, squeezing our glutes to finish the squat position with our arms above our head and we'll repeat this 12 times. So I'll do one example and then we'll all do it together 12 times. Okay, so we're going to stand tall, jump and land, and come back. Jump and outward, and come back. Jump outward, and come back. Okay, so that's, that's how we're going to do it. Make sure that we have a nice base underneath us with our hands up when we land. All right, let's do it for 12, shall we? Three, two, one. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good work, everyone. All right, everyone, we have made it to our last exercise. This is our final exercise of the day, and it will be the raising toe touch. So to start, we want to be standing up straight with our hip, feet hip width apart. We want to start with our right foot pressing and planted into the ground before we bring our left leg up towards us. Uh, we want to keep our chest up and put all the power that you've planted in your foot keeping the balance right that is very important to be balanced then bring your right hand to your left toes or as close as you can uh, comfortable to getting it that close uh, bring the left leg up and repeat using the right leg and we we're going to be doing this eight times okay so keep your right foot planted Use a wall or another assistance device if needed for support. Right foot's planted here. Right arm to left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good work. Let's do it one more time on this side. So this will be our left leg planted. Right leg comes up. Left hand matches the right leg. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good work. Amazing. Awesome job, everyone. And thank you so much for joining me today with our warm up activity. Good luck and have some fun completing the day three SOO school programs bocce bash tournament. Thank you all again so much for participating. We hope to see you tomorrow at our fun day events. And remember, if you haven't already, uh, you can upload any videos or photos from the challenges so far. Your teachers can submit them to Special Olympics Ontario via the Google Drive and they will be featured on our post event highlight reel. All right, so thank you very much everyone. This is Alex signing off here. I hope you have a great rest of your day.